Well, hello, uh, Father Ed Estock here. Father Michael. We are uh, here for Church at Home episode for the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Probably be uh, alerted to the fact that this is the first uh, Sunday uh, in which we are celebrating an ordinary Sunday of the year, uh, and we will be wearing green, green vestments. So you'll probably be reminded of that when you see the priest walk in. And um, we are kind of back to fundamentals with uh, the scriptures and uh, has you know, to do the, with call. Right? The, the season, the big season is over. The themed solemnities are over and we're into just counting the Sundays and working our way through the year. Oh. Yep. Yep. And so it's kind of, we go back to the beginning. And as uh, uh, you notice that uh, God in uh, creation, uh, he called and created Adam and Eve, and then he invited uh, Adam to, uh, he, in that creation, he said, uh, this one is called Adam, and this one is called Eve, and there's always a meaning to the name because there's a mission to the creation. And so uh, being called, being created, and being missioned seems to be uh, a a popular or often repeated theme in the Bible, and so uh, we hear, we are hearing that in this Sunday's readings, especially the, f- the first, first in the gospel, in the gospel really gospel. connect really well. Yeah. Where in the in the first reading, uh, Moses is encamped with Israel, and God reveals to him that you are you are you, and these people are called are chosen to be uh, my people in a particular way, but not just for your own sake, but for a purpose, for a mission of mine, for a mission of God's. Then, And even in the reading, you'll hear God say to Moses, yes, you are the chosen people, although all the world is mine. And over and over again through the New Testament, it's always that the nations will come to know the true and living God through the chosen people. They will come to know the truth through Israel. Right. It's not Israel at the exclusion of others. It's everybody through Israel. Israel right. And particularly through the way they respond to this uh, name and this possession. I think uh, Father Michael was reminding me, it's uh, uh, if you keep my commandments and uh, live in righteousness with me, then, um, you know, you will be able to fulfill uh, my purpose and my mission. Um, and then we go to the gospel. We have the calling of the apostles. And the names, the actual names, and the distinctions between them—if they have the same uh, same names, you know, uh, the son of this one, son of that one—and um, and in the calling of the apostles, uh, Jesus is seen as maybe like Adam or maybe like God in naming these people and creating something new. So they have become a new creation uh, with a name. And uh, just like the Israel, they aren't just called, Jesus isn't calling them to be his pals. Um, but what we see is that immediately he uh, sends them right. uh, for his mission. So, you know, what I'm saying is that, you know, God doesn't call us for our sake. God calls us for God's sake and God's mission um, and that might not be um, immediately obvious in the lives of each of us as Christians. You know, it seems that religion is oftentimes used in our world today to kind of like be a self-help thing. Mm. Um, yeah, and but it's not meant to be just me and God, me and, and Jesus. And I think we were keying in on... Um, especially with the gospel, with the names being laid out very specifically for the call of the first 12, it reminded us that God knows us personally, calls us personally, knows us at that level, even better than we know ourselves. And he's doing that to commission us to go out into the world and to do something, to be in relationship with him and share that relationship with others. So even if it's not immediately... Um, apparent what we're supposed to do what God's calling us to do we stick with that relationship we go to him in prayer we keep 
my laws and statutes, my commandments, uh, the life and calling too, as we hear in the, in the Old Testament reading, then it, it will become obvious. You'll, right. you'll grow in faith and know where God is sending you, to whom he's sending you, and how he's calling you to right. share his love with, that, that you've experienced with others. Right. Yeah, so we, we are called. We are called by name. It means we are known. Mm-hmm. And by being known, we end up, <clears throat> the result is that we know God. Uh, because he's revealing himself to us by his love for us, by his call for us, by his grace. And so um, uh, to know him is to love him and to uh, serve uh, his purposes. And uh, I think it was Catherine of Siena uh, in the 14th century or 15th century uh, who in her dialogues with God, God says to her, um, Catherine, uh, I am God, and you are not. Are not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. so we have to remember that. And you know, uh, the uh, the world and life in religion does not circulate around us in the center. It is with God in the center, and our call to uh, be known by Him and to know God, and then to participate in His mission. Right. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, in this call to discipleship that we've been uh, considering with the universal church and, uh, um, you know, here in our own diocese and in our parish, um, we might want to look for these features in our discipleship. Am I in this just because I am working on my self-improvement? You know, I want to get rid of my sins. I want to become perfect. I want to become holy. You know, is that the truncated version or vision we have of being a disciple or do we hear in the call to be a disciple is to not only come follow me but then uh, be sent uh, to accomplish uh, the Lord Jesus's mission in the world all right well God bless have a great week oh, and by the way we'll be welcoming Father Dominic yes. uh, we're between parochial vicars right now. yes <laughs> This very day is over at a, a pivotal moment in uh, this week and in the ministry, the priestly ministry of the parish. And so uh, on this Father's Day, um, hmm. as we uh, come up to it, um, we are going to be able to celebrate uh, with a new father uh, in his being newly ordained and also uh, in his fatherhood uh, in our parish ministry. Uh, in the pastoring, sharing in the pastoring workplace. So say a prayer for him and all of us. (laughs) All right, take care.